and cool the show and yes we're back again my goodness time is really flying I want to tell you well that first tune was written in 1941 by a fellow named Juan I love saying Juan Juan J-U-A-N Juan Taizo who you say I said Juan Taizo well coach Dave who was Juan Taizo Juan Tizal, I have mentioned uh, oh, a couple of times, I think, on this show before, because he was actually a trombone player with a great Duke Ellington orchestra. And he wrote several songs, uh, others that I can't remember offhand, but I know I've played them. And that song is called Perdido. Now, I don't know much about what the title means. Perdido sounds like it's a place. Who knows? I have no idea. No, all I know is Juan. Juan Tizal wrote it in 1941. Of course, it became a big hit, a big favorite for that great Duke Ellington orchestra. As I've mentioned ad nauseum, uh, Duke Ellington led his band on tour for 50 years, from the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, even into the 60s. He was out there with the band, and once uh, the word on the street is, once you were a member of Duke's band, unless you screwed up real bad or you wanted out, you had a job for life. And uh, I tell you, it was a great, great. My, it was my my favorite big band, <laughs> obviously, right? All right. Well, we're gonna move on all the way up to 1964. Now, this song was 
written by a fellow named Michel Legrand. Michel Legrand is a Frenchman, and he wrote it for a French movie called The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Now this song has been played, and I have played it, as either a waltz or a little swing. And uh, not a waltz, when I say a Latin, oh boy, me playing a waltz, yeah, right. Waltz or a little swing, and I kind of like it swing. Did I say waltz again? Uh, oh, you know what's going to happen? Austin's going to come in here and cuff me right along the side of the head. A Latin or a swing is what I'm trying to get out of this mouth here. And I've done it as Latin. I've done it. I kind of like the swing. Let's, let's t I tell you what. You, you folks in the audience, how many folks would like it as a Latin? I mean, how, how many would like it as a oh, It's a tie. Son of a gun. But anyway, it was then translated into English and it's called Watch, <laughs> Good. watch what happens when Coach Dave tries to talk. Okay, here we go. Watch now, watch and see. <laughs> see, see what happens. You know, when I try to talk, I just, uh, I don't know. Actually, I, I, I washed my mouth this morning. I can't, just can't do a thing with it, so. We're going up to the way, see, we're, we have, yeah, every song, we're moving up a few years. 19, oh, I guess, no, I guess this is let, ne never mind. Oh, I just, I'm just, uh, never mind. <sighs> 1958. A fella named, uh, oh, I can never think of his name. He, uh, he's, 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 he's from, well, he's born in Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, big mansion, Graceland in Memphis. Oh, Elvis, Elvis, that was his name. Yeah, you, you may have heard of him. Uh, he was not the first person to record this, but as with many songs that Elvis did, once he heard it, it's like, hey, I think I want to do that song, and when I want to do that, it becomes a hit. And it's a, a pretty love ballad. Uh, it's called The Wonder 
of views. I don't think I've ever played this in the show before, so let's let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Everything I do is wrong. Gee, that, that could be about me. Hmm, no, never mind, never mind. All right, well, let's, let's kind of move on a little bit here. Now, this next song is from uh, around 1963. It was kind of like a, like a, a, a jazz R&B type, type tune of the day. And uh, <clears throat> this particular song, you know, we kind of used to do it as like maybe a little little rocky, so you know, a little bit, but you know, jazzy, whatever. <clears throat> and several times way back in those days, I worked with a great, great trumpet player. He had actually played with uh, the Toronto Symphony. He was that good. And I remember we were on a job and we're playing this particular tune. Now these, these symphonic guys and classically trained guys everything has to be right you play it the same way every single time you play it you don't do anything different because everybody's got to play the song the same way it's written <laughs> probably drive me crazy but anyway so I play, so, so we're on the gig and, and, and with, with this fellow great great musician yeah, so he played the song and he you know, he took a chorus, so I said, take another one, expecting like a little jazz thing, exactly the same as the previous one. So that's what happens when you work with these classically trained musicians, great, great musicians, but they're so ingrained into the fact that every single note has to be exactly this. Well, never mind, but I guess there have been hundreds hundreds of covers of this song. In fact, recently, maybe a year or so ago, um, it, 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 it was used as background music for some TV commercial. I don't know, a laxative, I have no idea what it was. Anyway, a little tune called, you might recognize, a little tune called Sunny. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you know, I thought we might have a little extra time today because some of these songs aren't that long, and I think I think it's bonus time. Now, this is going to be a bonus song, okay? When you get your cable bill, make sure there's, that they didn't charge you for it. This is no charge. This is on Coach Dave. little bonus tune. I thought I'd do a tune. Uh, and actually, it was a Jamaican, I think it's probably like a Jamaican folk song, and then they put English words and all that stuff. And if I could think of the name of it, then I might play it. Oh, this is called, uh, called Yellow Bird, Yellow Bird, big, big uh, calypso hit in the, in, the, in the late 50s or so, Yellow Bird, here we go. <laughs> Yellow 
yellow bird, the yellow bird. Well, our next tune, I think I might have done this on the show a couple of times. Pre great, great tune, 1926, written by Irving Berlin for a show, I think. Don't quote me, I think it was called Betsy, but obviously nothing ever happened with it. I never heard of it. Uh, but the song persevered, and uh, we're in the middle, as I, we taped this show today, we're in the middle of a freaking heat wave. So blue skies, we got plenty of those. So here we go. Shining on me, and yes, they are and have been, except for when it's raining. And then, never mind, we won't get into that. Well, we're getting down towards the end of our time now. And now, this is something, something that's never been done before. All right, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Coach Dave, for the last tune of the day, is going to play three songs all at once. Yep. Three songs. Play them all at the same time. All right, it's the same song, but it's got three titles. One title is called Lara's Theme. Another title is called Somewhere My Love, which is part of the lyrics and the words. And the main title is It's the Love Theme from Dr. Zhivago. Now, this was written as a waltz. You know, Coach Dave doesn't play those silly waltzes, so we're going to do this in kind of an up-tempo 4-4 four, four time, and uh, I hope you don't turn your TV sets off because you've never heard a play like this. Of course, that's most of the stuff I... Yeah, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
theme or the love theme from Dr. Zhivago. Take your pick. But there it is. Well, we're just about out of time here today. And you all know I'm going to say bring the young'uns in to hear this hear this music that I'm playing. Not because I'm playing it, but because they definitely are not susceptible to some of those things I play today. But hey, you know, my show, my rules. What the heck. So once again, thank y'all for watching and tuning in, and we're going to see y'all next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.